the Joe Rogan experience. Point is, obviously super successful dude and has this enormous, this is the Unreal 5 engine. He has this enormous production company that he's about to build. And he goes, Aah! he sees Sora and he's like, what? You guys can do this now? You got to see how that plays out. Dude, it's going to play out real strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because what, what you see already, so this is the video game. This does, this is hard. Yeah, it's, this, it's, is, this looks pretty good. Uh, this is not as convincing as some of the other footage that I saw. The the nighttime footage. There's something about daytime footage that looks a little clunky, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or, or a little better. Well, that's more reflections. And shit. Yeah, I went to Red Man's this place. Is pretty wild. Though. And tried the AI for the first time in my life. Oh, nuts! Uh, uh, he was saying like he has a second life, and they are happy with his girlfriend there, and they're like living in a whole nother world there. Well, Red Man's slightly insane. I so. know. But That's see, <laughs> the way he was ex this, describing to me, I imagined it's like the Neo where I right. put the thing in the back and, and yeah. I'm happy now. Uh, but it was, dog, it was it was literally PlayStation 2 graphics. Whenever I want to nerd out about electronics, it's always Red Band. We, we always talk. We always talk about the newest phones or the newest this or this does that, that does this. Yeah. Like He's just a techno nerd. Yeah. He loves that shit. And so he's he, already giving up on this life because he knows VR is here. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> That's a, such a red bad move. Every time I tell I him to eat something diet, healthy. But you know what? <laughs> yeah. AI's taking over. I'm just going to get my brain teleported. Exactly. That's the ultimate leap, right? Imagine if they get to a point where they say, we can download your brain into a computer, but you will cease to exist right here, right now. And you just have to assume that it's whatever consciousness is in your head is your life. <clears throat> and it's not just a faction of that consciousness being in a very particular state and time, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that consciousness being attached to this particular biological body in this particular place. Like, what makes you you? And if you take that shit out and stick it in a machine, what kind of horrific existence is that? What's screaming into mm -hmm. the abyss, mm -hmm. unattached from a body, but trapped? trapped in a newly oh, created yeah. computer dimension because you didn't you didn't get to go to heaven because you got trapped in a metal box and maybe that's how the aliens contain souls maybe that's how they get them matrix was basically yeah. that whole that's the thing make get you to think that you can download your soul mm -hmm. into a computer like wait well, i'm gonna live forever I'm gonna download my soul into a computer and what all you're doing is you're so smart that you're stupid enough to think that technology is capable of recreating you as a whole not uh -huh. just your consciousness but what what if your fingernails have memories motherfucker mm -hmm. what if your whole oh. what if it all is a part of a system and disconnected from that system your soul is just like ah! just separated from love forever that was what I really liked in the Matrix franchise remember when they got out of the Matrix they went to Zion there was that scene where they were fucking, and then there was that scene where they were dancing, and the whole thing, uh, who's the fucking, Mor Morpheus was explaining that, yeah, you're not feeling the things with your physical body in this matrix world, you know? Mm. You're going through, it's just the synapses are firing in the mm. machine. And I remember, because I was like a teenager when I saw that movie, and I remember that scene when they were fucking, and I was like, oh shit. See, that's the thing, if you download your brain right. into a system, and then they came back. The world was shitty. Remember how shitty yeah. Zion looked? Like terrible. Got, terrible. No beaches. Like us in 50 years. And then they were eating. Remember that food? Everything the body needs. Remember yeah. that culp? Yeah. But I remember when they did that dancing scene. I remember that like, uh, like inspiring a thought where I'm like, huh, maybe even if there is a secondary there fucking AI world that comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There'll be rebellion. See, that's what I'm saying. No, no question whatsoever. That's why I love when people go, is AI going to destroy stand-up comedy? I always love to say that stand-up, luckily, is the art form that can comment on its own demise, kind of, you know? Yeah. Like, even if AI yes. creates the perfect act, the perfect ha-ha-ha laughs per right, minute, right. there's going to be, you're going to be able to comment on how fucked that is, right. you know? Yeah, So 100%. So, and then on top of that, the what really what we're really doing is we're performing for live audiences mm -hmm. and so how's ai going to do that 